welcome back to That's right. another episode of All That to Say. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, what's happening today? Not much. Just getting a lot of notifications for my fantasy league. Fantasy league? Yeah. What the heck? Fantasy football. Are you serious? Yeah. You, you got one going. Are you in one league or multiple leagues? Just one. Okay. Well... I, I won my first match. <laughs> I, do I know anything about football as a current? No. You don't have to know anything, apparently. Apparently not. Yeah. I just, uh, you know, I just simply just was like, I, they uh, some friends at work were like, yeah, let's, we're going to do a league. And I was like, oh, cool, I want to play. And I was like, do I know anything about football? I said, is Ben Roethlisberger still playing? <laughs> and they're like, no. And I was like, Who, who's a good quarterback? And they're like, this dude. And I was like, Oh, yeah, I don't know who that is. So they actually gave you good information? Yeah, I mean, they gave me some, some like, feedback. Some, like, and then I, like, went in after the draft. So they, they, you set up a draft time. Right. So we set up our draft at, like, Thursday night at, like, 8 p.m. Well, first, how many people are in this league? Eight. Okay, so eight. So where did you fall in the uh, draft link? I mean, in the – I don't remember. Okay. It, I, you I weren't first. first. I wasn't first. Okay. In the middle somewhere? I was in the middle somewhere. Did you do snake, so it's like starts first to eighth and then eighth backwards? Or did it did it, it was a continuous first through eight, was, first through eight? I think it flipped. Yeah. yeah. It, that's normal. The snake is what they call it. Where it so flips. It, like eight, number eight gets two picks back to back, but then number one gets, gets the two. first one, but then it gets the last pick in the second round. Exactly. Yeah. So we I went in after the first, like, after we drafted, and I was like, all right, Look at my team. Tell me if I did good. And they're like, you did better than all of us. <laughs> did and you I, just take the next person that was available? I just I just kind of took random people. Yeah. I was like, oh, this guy looks like he's rated high. You like, I like his name. Yeah. I got all these weird he's, people. And, he has good colors. Yeah. <laughs> he's on a, a team that has good colors. <laughs> no, I was just like, did I good? Like, yeah, you did pretty good. And then I uh, ended up being like ranked third in our yeah, our, nice league for the draft like post draft and then I won my first match which is crazy because I won my first match but my the, the team I was playing against the defense scored them 40 points. Yeah, they played the Cowboys. They played the Cowboys. Of course. And the defense scored them 40 points mm-hmm. and I still beat them by 20 points. Dang. Yeah, I was like there was a ton of people that like went to bed with like, you know, I've got a good comfortable lead. I'm good. And woke up, you know, to a Cowboys just monstrosity of a of a beatdown on the Giants, and woke up the next day losing their their match. Yeah, because of it. So I literally was sitting there and I was like, I was like watching this defense just rack up points, and I was like, I think I'll still be okay. You had some good points then. Yeah, you had I, some solid <clears throat> points. Like I didn't even like play one of my one of my wide receivers that I should have played. Um I I didn't play him. He scored twenty eight points on my bench. Oh that hurts. Yeah. Those are always the painful but ones. it was okay because the two receivers I played both scored like pretty good. Like one of them scored like twenty four points and the other one scored like twenty points and I was like, all right, you know whatever. It's still a solid day. and my <clears throat> my quarterback like only scored nineteen points for me, which I was like whatever. Okay. I mean whatever. It's it it really you just never know what you're gonna get. It's yeah. you know the the big thing is don't leave people on the bench when you have a bye week. Right? Yeah, like you got to change people out. You got to be aware when there's someone that gets hurt. Yeah, so <clears throat> funny you say that. Like one of my buddies, this is I don't even know what we're talking about on this episode. We're just talking about fantasy right now. But right now we're talking about fantasy league football. <laughs> one of my buddies was like uh, he he drafted um, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers oh, the first game. No. For the uh, Jets. Like, I think it was like in his like first two rounds. Oh, he took him early. Took him early. And Aaron Rodgers tore his ACL. Yes. First like, game. Like second play of the game, second or third play of the game. Yeah, like tore his ACL. Right off. The, yeah. And I was like, he's like freaking out at work. And he's like, I can't believe my starting quarterback, first, you know, first round pick, second round pick, whatever it was, is out already. And I was yeah, like, that one hurt. And he yeah, also, the same guy also lost like his like first. The first wide receiver he drafted as well, so like oh, his man. number one wide receiver and his quarterback both out, and so he had to drop both. He dropped both of them and picked up other people. But he was like, "I'm I'm I'm not recovering from this." Yeah, yeah. That was who I played the first 
first week. Well, <laughs> so that does that does help. You had a little bit, a little bit of help. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, fantasy league, the whole fantasy league thing is an interesting. Uh, I think it actually makes the games a little more. I don't want to say enjoyable, but you, you now that you have people on different teams. Yeah. You watch the game with the anticipation of like, I need that guy to do really, really well. Yeah. I don't care if they I win or lose. Win. I, don't I care. just unless I need you it. have a defense. Yes. Yeah. Well, exactly. In defense, I mean, the fact that the Cowboys did what they did—that's unheard of. I mean, nobody ever, you know, counts on their defense to be the one that like pulls off the win for them. So yeah. that was a. Uh, it was crazy. Of course, Cowboys are my – that's my team, so I hope that they continue the trend for the rest of the season. I got, like, some random – I want to say I got the Eagles defense, and they scored me 10 points when they were projected to do, like, six, and I was yeah. like, hey, that's good. Hey, they're they're solid. Uh, I mean, you never know what's going to happen. You know, people have – teams have an off week. They One of their players not playing to his fullest, you know, whatever. Yeah. I was so confused um, when – uh, so uh, we were talking about football and stuff, and and someone said uh, that the Lions beat the Chiefs. Yeah, they did. The Lions beat the Chiefs, and they I was did. like, I know I've been out of touch for a while. I haven't watched football in like probably five years, but am I been, am I that far gone? Uh, <laughs> it was it was a bit of an anomaly for sure. And I was like, and then they, he said, yeah, they beat the Super Bowl champions, and I said, I said. I said, wait, the Lions – I was so confused because I said, wait, the Lions won the Super Bowl last year? Like, what is going on? And they're like, no, the Chiefs were the Super Bowl champions last yes. year. And the Lions beat them Yeah, first game. And I was like, dude, I don't know what's going on. And then, like, they were talking about the Browns. And I was like – They beat the Bengals. The Browns beat the Bengals. And mm-hmm. I was like, what's happening? Yeah, I know. Yeah, it, you know – um, it's a weird year, and uh, football's different. You know, you give it three or four games, and we'll people will start to get in a groove, and they'll land. I don't do fantasy league anymore. At one point in time, you know, I have, uh, you know, I guess you'd call it, you know, addictive tendencies. I, when I get involved, like I just go all out. Like I mean, if you look around this room, right? It's, it's my music room, and there's a ton of stuff that I, over the years, like when I started playing well, then I just started buying stuff you right. know so I was like well I should have a bass and I should have a acoustic and a couple electrics and some you know a drum kit and a co- and my my bongos and my congas and my djembes and everything else and you know like I just seven different egg shakers I, exactly you know yeah. and and I just was like well I, I I just go so when it came to fantasy league at one point in time I was running eight teams that's too much it was stupid is really what it was and so that's a I, full-time job. I really enjoy it. And I was thinking like this year, uh, Hudson was talking about like, oh, I, I think it was Hudson or someone said to me, we really could use someone else in the league. Oh, I know. Yeah. It was someone else, but it was involving money. And I was like, I'm not paying 20 bucks to be a part of that. I don't know. I, I don't care about it that much. This was a free league. They're yeah. like, Hey, we're just going to do it for yeah. fun. I, I was I, like, I'm all about it. And I actually do enjoy the process of it. But life is so busy, and I'm so disconnected from sports these days that I really – I, if I have Hudson around me, he can give me all the stats. He can do all the stuff, yeah. right, and I'm good. I just don't want to be on in a league against him. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Like, I hear my, like, pe- my people, at f- my friends at work and, like, people at work talking about football, and I'm like, yeah, I have no clue what you guys are talking about anymore. Like, I have no clue who these people are. And so I was, like, really nervous going into this league. Like, I'm going to be terrible and, like, not win a single game. And I won my first one, and I was like, I'm good. I'm good if I don't win another game the rest, yeah. of, the rest of the year. I, well, the fact is is that you could say your team won and beat played against the Cowboys' defense. Yeah. Like, like that is just a double whammy right there. So you're yeah. good. And so I, I don't really need to prove anything else. Yeah. Hey, I wanted to – yeah. Uh, just a quick different note. I want to apologize to our viewers for missing our normal Tuesday upload last week. This or this, uh, this week, yeah, and um, uh, or whatever. At some point is. in time, yeah, missed it, and uh, we will try to get them up on Tuesday mornings. That's our normal time. So it was funny. I was looking at the analytics and look at the numbers, and I was like, 
you know, not that we're ever trying to go viral, but it's funny to see numbers, right? And it's like, yeah. it was like all the weeks they kept going up and up and up. And uh, I think the that particular episode, since it got up so late, I think the three views are me, you, and maybe Jasmine. <laughs> it's just funny. I was, I was like, dude, I, I, I didn't even think about it until after work, and then I got, got home and I was looking at the app, and I was like, it's not up on the app. That's weird. <sighs> it was a, it was a, it was a thing on my phone. So I have something that I want us to do. Okay. All right. I, I want to do a little bit of a test because so, um, I, I got a birthday present from okay. my mom, and it's actually something I'm pretty excited about. Does your about. mom watch the podcast? I have. No, I doubt it. No. <laughs> I, I don't even know if she – I don't even know if she knows how to get it on their app. And, oh, I think she knows how to use you, YouTube. I think she knows how to use that. But I don't it, know how I, to use YouTube sometimes. I so. really am excited about this gift. Okay. But I want to, I want you to test it for me to okay. see what the effect, like I'm what so kind of effect right it is. Now. No, no, you don't have to. You don't have to be worried. All right. So, yeah. so I have two things. All right? okay. I need to get them out of my pockets. I have two, two different items. One is my birthday gift and the other one is going to be something to compare it to. All right. So Badger Tattoo Bomb. Okay. Uh, so I thought I feel you, a little less. You have a fair now. amount. I mean, mine are kind of hard to get to, right? And so I thought I would I want you to use this on one of them, okay? Just to see, like, th- what does it do? Does it shine it up? And then I want you to put some Aquaphor in a different one that's close we're to te- it. We're product testing. We're today. product testing tattoo balm. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Which one do you want to do first? Um, I have been. I, I hate Aquaphor. Be real honest with you. But well, it's, who, I will do it for the, do it for the vine. No one really likes it. So, all right, which one you want to do first? I'll do the aqua four. Okay, you got just the to aqua get four. it over with. It's gross. It's just oily and <laughs> it is, but it makes sure that it doesn't get infected. You know, well, just it's more for moisture. It's good for well, but it helps the healing oh, process. Gosh. You don't have to do a whole bunch. Pick one of those little ones. Oh, you 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 went big on that one. Yeah, yeah give that back to me. I should have brought a towel down. I'm sorry. Well, that's okay. Well, I you know, way too much. Yeah, you did. Well, I'm going to do a couple. Tattoos okay, for. that's good. And uh, let me open up this uh, Badger Tattoo Balm. Oh, uh, actually, <laughs> it's, oh, that's nasty looking. Well, it's going to be interesting. All right, well. I'm, I'm just curious to see. You, you don't have anything with color. No, I'm black and white. Yeah, I know. Black and white. I know. As I wanted to put it on I mean, mine. My red tattoos down here. Nah, you got to put it close to it though, so we can see the difference. Okay. All right. Well, Which one do you want? Here's the. I don't know. Yeah, it's shiny. Nice it's and shiny. that's shiny. Looks looks solid. Looks darker. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Now the now the. Okay. First of all, let me just say that I like the feel of this way better. Okay. does not feel as gross it's still gross do you think it's do you think it's like having an, an overall effect on the the bright oh, yeah look at the look at it popping now yeah, like I'm it got darker popping. and and kind of like popping off your skin it looks way better it looks way there fresh there's the product testing all there's right the, there's I the i just you know the problem is is that you know my main one my big one that's full of color is on the back of my arm, and it's really hard to do. It looks it looks really good. It doesn't look oily and greasy. Yeah, it's it. it that's the big difference. Like this is. Yeah, it's oily and greasy oily looking. And greasy, shiny. This is just shiny and. Does it smell good? I don't know. Kind of <laughs> smells like black licorice. Oh, I like black licorice for real. Yeah, that's huh. what it smells like. Okay, would you use something like this on the regular? Uh, if I if I. Listen. Badger Tattoo Bomb will gladly take your sponsorship and promote your product all day long. Yeah, I probably would. Um, Is this something really? Yeah, I still put. I can my I, my newest. This is my newest tattoo. All I right, listen. Before I want it. you to take a little bit more and put it on that lion there. Okay. I want to see that face. I want to see if it brightens that face up. That's like an older. I know. That's the whole point tattoo. of this, right? Isn't that the point of Bomb is to help with something that's like. Faded in a little bit, older and fading. I don't know. We'll see. 
You had no clue we were going to do this today. I didn't. I know. I, I couldn't wait. I was like, he's not going to be he's aware of gonna what's going to be. Gonna, he's, uh, he may <laughs> not be happy of doing product review here. Oh, look how much better that looks. It does look. I'm pretty quite impressed. A, quite a bit more. And it doesn't feel I mean, like nasty so heavy. This is or my, I guess I can use that. Yep. I am creation. And then these look. Those look solid. Look yeah. Pretty fresh. I don't know how to they turn do. my arm. Like that. And this one's like pretty old. Like it's a couple years older, right? Well, it so. it had faded a fair amount. Yeah, it's bringing it out. So it out when bit. she sent it, I was really, I was actually one. I was super surprised because I normally get something Hot Wheels or you know something like that. That looks better than the Aqua Four one does. Yeah, because the Aqua Four one just looks greasy. But does it? So it's, on your skin, does it feel? What's the difference in the feeling? Um. This uh, this is gonna sound weird because it's they're both like liquid, but this yep. feels rougher. Really? And like thicker. the Aqua Four. The Aqua Four feels rougher, rougher and thicker. Yeah. But the other tattoo balm actually feels more kind of like oily. But okay. Like but not smooth. is it heavy oil? It's not as heavy. Okay. As the Aqua Four. Well, I'm excited to use it. Thank you, Mom, for this gift. Yeah. Thanks, Corey's mom. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely use it. I can't wait to uh, brighten up or put it on my. Do you think that? People use this kind of like people do uh, beard oil. Dude, I don't use beard oil anymore because it just makes me like, it's just so, I don't like my beard being wet all day. Does it stay wet all day? I don't know. It just feels wet. I feel like my problem is going to be uh, um, smells. And I tried it one get, time. Get one like like sandalwood or something. I, I don't like I don't like that smell. You don't like sandalwood? Mm -mm. What's wrong with you? I don't. I'm un-American, I guess. I don't know. Guess so. I don't know. I just I'm. There's a, only a couple things that I like. I mean, we do unscented candles here. Yeah, that's weird. At this house, so that's weird. You know, I, it's just normal people we, like candles that smell like something. It is the point of candles. I understand at, that. At that point, why even have a candle? Uh, in case the power goes out, and we have light. There's plenty of other ways. At this to have point light. in time, if it, when it comes to aroma, <laughs> that's what we use a diffuser for. Well, yeah, it's I get 2023. It, who uses candles anyway? People who like the ambiance of candles and the scent. Okay. F um. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that you know. What ambiance are you setting? The romantic setting? Yeah. It's romantic. Have a nice candlelit dinner. You don't have candlelit dinners? Okay. Normally, candlelit dinners involve those tall candles that do not do any kind of smells. Yeah, but They're you could. just for the looks. You could have them. Also, I just like having candles lit around the house. I'd, I'll be by I, myself I, I and have it. candles lit that smell differently in each yeah. room. Do you get like Yankee candles? Or do no, you get woodwick? Woodwick? Yeah, because I like the 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 crackling, like a fire. Yeah, I have no clue what you're talking about. Yeah, they never woodwick, experienced woodwick them. wicks are wood, obviously. Clearly, the, the name, name gives it away. But, uh, it like so it crackles. Really, like the crackling sound. Is it like uh, and it's balsa wood? I don't know. I don't know what kind of wood they use in their. Wicks. I feel like that it's got to be a special kind of wood that. Burn slow. What's wrong? You the difference, greasy? Yes. So here's another difference. Okay. This hand is what I use for the aqua four. Yep. It's gross. <laughs> this hand just feels like I just put a little bit of lotion. So on. for those that are just listening, his left hand feels gross. His right hand is not gross. Yeah. The aqua four hand, it just feels gross. And I'm going to yeah. have to wash my hands after this. Okay. I mean, well, I mean, do you, you know, I guess you could just get up and go wash them now and come back, but. Let's not do that. Stand. I'll just, just sit, here and sit here and sit here and stare. stare at the I don't know. You can do something. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> well, you know, so interesting. I, I guess you know, part of it was is uh, my, like I said, mine's on my back of my arm and on my back, and so I can't really see them. I wanted. I appreciate you testing it for me, and I wanted to be able to see the results. I'm I'm pretty excited to like put it on. I guess Definitely if I need to difference. at some point in time, I. My wondering is um, if it's like, and this is just my theory, okay, but I feel like lotion, I feel like it's like a lotion thing where 
when you use lotion, your hands or wherever you use it just dries out more, so you have to use it again. Right. And I'm, I feel like it's it's like a, it's a thing, right? Like, like melatonin. Yeah. Well, mel- melatonin. Look, that's a whole nother animal. When you take melatonin, you now are telling your body to quit producing melatonin. Yeah. Different. But that's what they say. Yeah, I, that's what I've read. That's what I've seen. But I, I took did. melatonin for years, and. You don't have to take it. Then I stopped. Yeah, and I think, and I just recently restarted taking it because your body was like, "Hey, we don't know how to produce that." I don't know, (laughs) but I was like, I I I randomly the other day I was like, "I'm gonna buy a thing of melatonin and try and see if that helps with my sleep." Did it? And you know, on Thursday I slept until eight thirty, which is late for me. Yeah, that is late. Yeah, that's like really late for me. And I was like, "What the crap is going on?" Like two, did you take two melatonins? Yeah. Okay. It, it recommends you take two. Yeah. I I took half. Half? Yeah. Of a melatonin? Well, I was nervous about it. I, I just didn't know if I could I trust <laughs> it. I was worried that it was going to, like, knock you out. I was wanted to mess up my system, you know? Like, I don't, I don't, I mean, I have a hard, I'm not a, I'm a light sleeper. But that's when I problem. sleep, I sleep. No, no. See, that's my problem. I'm such a light sleeper that I wake up anytime I hear, like, you know how your house settles and mm-hmm. stuff. And yeah. And you hear like, um, like, I sleep with the TV on to well, help block that some of that out. Are you kidding me? That's no. the worst thing. No, I I can't I can't because I'll, my I just sit there and listen to like the house settling. Are you, are you not exhausted when you wake up because your brain is active all night long? Um, is it on with noise? Yeah. No. How are you? There's no wonder you're tired all the time. Don't don't judge me. Oh no, I'm 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 going there. I'm serious. Your brain Anyways, never gets to rest. Back to melatonin. <laughs> no, your your brain. How, when is it going to rest? I took melatonin the other night for the first time in like years, and I was like, I slept for a solid eight hours with no wake ups. With one wake up when my normal alarm went off. Okay, like my normal alarm would go off. Right. I woke up, reached over, looked at the top, looked at the time, turned my phone off or turn. You know, locked my phone again, rolled back over, and went back to sleep. So on your day off, you don't do away with your alarm. You allow it to stay no, active. No, no, no. Sorry. I woke up with, like, woke up when I, my normal alarm would go off. But gotcha. It, was, it wasn't it was on. Okay. I just woke up I get at it. 520 in the morning. I get it. I just want to say those tattoos look really good. Thanks. They look it's really a, solid. It's a... It's Badger. Badger. I wanted to say Beaver. <laughs> I know. Me too. Don't. Badger. Let's not Badger go. tattoo oil. Yeah, let's not. Uh, <laughs> um, but, now back to this whole TV thing. Yeah. So your brain has to build a like rest. Yeah. So when it's listening, it never gets into REM listen, sleep. Listen. Okay. So what are your dreams like? Let me. I don't dream. You have um, to. Very rarely. You don't remember your dreams. Okay. You have to dream. Okay. Do you ever wake up and go, "That was a dream," and then just instantly forget it? No. Wow. I I rarely dream. Um I that's wild. Really I couldn't tell you the la- well, I can tell you the last time I had a dream. It was about 3 weeks ago. Well, I do remember you saying that you asked the Lord to take dreams away. Yeah. Cuz you had bad dreams. Yeah, when I was younger. Yeah. I had a lot. So of I mean, he did honor that and do that. Yeah. So the 3 weeks ago, like you remember that one? Yeah, it was a nightmare. <sighs> I hate that for you. Sorry. So that was the last time I had a dream, and then I haven't had a dream since. And but like I get them very, very like I was like I would dream like maybe once a month or remember my dream. Let's say that. Interesting. So I dream nonstop all the time. I will wake up in the middle of the night and have a dream. I could fall asleep for half hour to an hour. Like doesn't matter what it is. I could fall asleep and have three or four dreams in that and wake up. I'm usually, I am absolutely very, like my ideal in waking up, if it's, I need like an hour to like wake up. Like before I get out of bed, I need to be able to lay there. And I know. Are you a multiple alarms kind of guy? No. I guess we're talking about no. sleep and fantasy football, no, which is we're so not. weird. We're not. I'm not. I'm the multiple alarms is the dumbest thing ever. Yeah, the snooze I agree. button is dumb. I hit the snooze button every night. There's mm. a difference between the hitting the snooze button, like, hey, I need five more minutes, but I need something to remind me, like, if I fall back asleep. 
Like I want to lay in like sometimes I'll hit it in the morning and I'll like I want to lay in bed, but I need something to go off that way if I fall back asleep. See, if I'm going to do that, then I need it to be more like a 30 minute snooze. No, I like I think mine's set to 8 minutes. Well, that's the t- that's the standard. Standard snooze is 8 minutes. Yeah. So but I'm like, you don't actually go to sleep. You just get into a sleep and then it goes off. So no, you actually that's, don't. that's the point. I don't want to fall back asleep. Like most time for me, I, like if I hit snooze, I want to lay there and like, like just like kind of wake up. Sure. Yeah. But then if I fall back asleep, I want that security of like, oh, I have an alarm going off again. I get that makes sense. Yeah, no, I totally get that. But I, the multiple uh, alarm thing, you don't don't agree with? Nope, not at all. And I don't like the snooze. I don't do the snooze. I'm either going to, like, if I have a, a day where I could sleep in, mm-hmm. I'm just going to sleep in until I... Yeah, I'm just going to turn the alarm off. Yeah, it's off yeah. altogether. If I'm, I'm going to get up, I'll go ahead and, you know, in my mind, the alarm is set in such a manner of, like, I'm going to have some time mm-hmm. to, like, lay here, kind of play on a game, check email, like, do stuff and slowly wake up. And then I'll get out and get, you know, get up and get moving. Now, that's still early sometimes, uh, but I don't always have that luxury. And most people don't, right? I mean, you, you rarely have that luxury. And that, I prefer that, which I feel like is a better way to wake to slowly wake up, kind of get your day going, get your brain going, uh, you know, get moving. And then get, instead of like sleeping till the last possible second and then rushing around trying to get out the door because you got to be somewhere. Right. So that's that's just a personal thing with me. I mean, I, I can say that I've never really been able to do that, <laughs> but I like to do it. You know, I mean, it does happen I'd, from time I'd to like time. To do that, but yeah. I, it's not my lifestyle. I I um I don't know what it is. I'm not a morning person, but I've always been one who is like when the alarm goes off, I'm up and out. I'm you know like when I used to work out in the field, uh, you know, I'd have to be up like super early and at the job site super early. One alarm, I got up. Right away, you know, because I had drive time. I'd have an hour drive, 45 minutes, half, whatever it was. So that drive time was my wake-up time. That's when I'm, like, listening to stuff, right? you know, whatever I'm doing. And, you know, drinking my coffee back then and kind of waking up. By the time I got there, I was awake. I was ready to go. Flip side, driving home, unwind, relax, kind of breathe a little bit by the time I get home. It's one of the reasons why we stayed living in Brown County. You know, even though I worked like in all over Indiana and other places, it was that. I don't know why we're going down this way. All that to say, no, I don't use the snooze and I don't do multiple alarms. My wife's a multiple alarmer. I have multiple alarms in the, in the queue for different days for different things. Why not? Why? Because I have different, I have a different schedule, and so there's some days where I have the flexibility to, I have to get up at six, and there's another day I can get up at seven, or you know, Saturday, know. Saturday I want to be up by like a certain time, so I set an alarm to make sure I don't, because I, I don't want to sleep the day away. I have too much to do. That's fine. That's fine. You can right. just set one alarm for all the same day, the days you have to get up. I have one alarm that is like five days. Or six days. I have it, you know, I have it set Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. It's the same time. Okay. But then I have a couple other alarms that are like, that's my Saturday alarm. That's my Sunday alarm. I do on Sundays, I have a, I, I guess is a little bit of a lie. I technically have a second alarm for Sunday, but it is the, it's, it's 45 minutes after the first one. It's kind of one of those alarms of like, you need to leave now? I have to get up and get ready right oh, now. Oh, okay. Yeah, like this is it. This is the last thing. Gotcha. So, and and I do that because there are times when I fall back asleep. But when I fall back asleep, I know in my head, like, I have 45 minutes. That's my drop dead time. I don't want to hit a snooze every eight minutes for 45 minutes. Yeah. Right? I want to hit one button. Okay. So the first alarm goes off, I stop it. I choose whether or not I want to get up. <laughs> More often than not, I do. But there are times when I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to lay here. Uh, sometimes, okay, let's just be real. Sometimes I am doing something on my phone and I lose track of time. Yeah. And all of a sudden I've been, I've been laying there for 45 minutes. And you're like, putting a war attack and... in 
or, you know, doing some game. A lot of times I'm reading my Bible and, you know, I just, all of a sudden I'm like, oh, snap, my alarm's going off. I have to get ready now. So anyway. Yeah. My mom, my wife is a multiple alarmer and she is like every 15 minutes from like 630 in the morning till her last alarm goes off at like 720. Why stay in bed? I, dude, I don't know. Me, at that point, you may just you're you're just constantly up turning the alarm off. Yeah, me, I'm like she says. I, well, I need that first one to wake me up, and then like, then I could get up, but then I could have other alarms that I like. She'll turn it off, turn off alarms in the morning, like to like say, oh, I want to I want to go back to sleep for like another thirty minutes or whatever. But like she has them every like ten to fifteen minutes, and I'm like, it doesn't make sense to me. Like just wake up. I feel like that for some people, they need the kind of alarm where it's like a huge speaker, like kind of away from them, but it's so loud that like startles them up out of it. Like, you know, that like you have to get like, up and cross up. the room. Yeah. Well, not even, well, yeah, that I think this has got to be like loud and like Abrasive. in your face. Yeah. That it just, that wakes them up where they're like, I can't go back to sleep now. There's Get no the adrenaline pumping. Yeah. So you can't you know, go back to sleep. I remember a time I was with a group of guys. We were, we'd gone a uh, spring break or something like that. And we had fallen asleep. And uh, when I was young, I always fell asleep to music. Music was always on. So you, you, you're shaming me. No, I learned my TV. lesson. I learned my lesson because I would have these crazy dreams and I would have these, but I don't uh, dream. but I, and I wouldn't, I would not get any rest because I'm a light sleeper. And I'd wake up so tired, but in the middle of the night, someone had left their you know, music playing or something like that, and this song came on, and the opening line is this, uh, wake up, but I mean, he yells it as loud as he can, right? It's, it's an opening to a door song, and uh, I am telling you, every single person, like, bounced out of bed, heart pumping, because it was like, uh, we were actually sleeping in an attic. So it was like one of those moments, like when it did it, it was like every one of us was like freaked out, like who was up there with us yelling at us to wake up. And I think about that all the time. I think that's the kind of alarm. I think some people who have those multiple, like hit the snooze again and again and again and again, I want them to experience that almost scare tactic. Fear. Type. Yes. I want like, you to experience <laughs> fear when you wake up. <laughs> I don't want them to experience fear. No, be fearful yeah, of, of I, life. I, I just want, I just think, you know what? If I get your, if we, if we jumpstart your heart, yeah, you're going to jump out of bed and you're like, I can't give sleep you now. you an anxiety attack every morning. <laughs> I don't want anxiety attacks at all for anybody. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. If we oh. give you anxiety attacks every morning, you'll be, you'll, you won't want to sleep in. Uh, no, no. So what, um, so are there ever days that you like you guys sleep in like crazy long, like crazy late? No. No. I I What would be a crazy late to you? Nine. That would be a crazy late. Yeah, that'd be pretty I mean, I if I'm not feeling well or something, like I like a couple of Saturdays ago, I, I woke up. We woke up at like eight o'clock. And we lay there and talked in bed and and then I ended up falling back asleep. And slept until three in the afternoon because I just wasn't feeling good. Wow. Yeah, I just wasn't feeling good, so I I just ended up sleeping like till three in the afternoon. And then, this is how I know I wasn't feeling good is I woke up, went out. Um, we had dinner plans, which is the worst. We had dinner plans. We went to dinner. Um, at like we had to leave our house at like four thirty because our dinner was at like five fifteen, and or like we were meeting them at like five fifteen five thirty. And we went to dinner. We got home at like eight, and I literally went back to bed. You were yeah. So so that's different when you're not feeling good. Yeah. But like when you're feeling good and you're just like it's a lazy kind of day. I don't feel like doing anything. I no, don't I'm have still any up pressure. By like eight o'clock. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I wake up at five thirty every morning. No, I know. So, so five like eight o'clock, eight o'clock is, is like way sleeping in. Yeah, like most days. Like I would say most Thursdays, which is like my, one of my days off. Most Thursdays, I'm up by like 7, 7.30. Sundays, I'm normally up about 6.45. Six, between 6.45 and 7.20. Gotcha. Well, 
I, and we, we were talking about this because, you know, I'm thinking about when I was a younger guy, these older guys would always say, oh, you wait till you're an old man. That internal clock will wake you up five o'clock in the morning every that day. Happens now. No, it doesn't happen to me. <laughs> not now. Not at all. I'm not a morning we're the, person. We're on the opposite spectrum. Like, yeah. dude, I, I, if I don't have an alarm set on Thursdays, I'm waking up at 530 and then I'll go back to sleep. I will have to say the only thing that is true to form, you know, when they said, when you get older, these are the things that will happen, is the need to get up and go to the bathroom, which is usually 530 a.m. Yeah. So it's not that I wake up because I'm like, oh, I'm done sleeping. It's because I got to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like that's, like, just a given. Yeah. You also drink, like, a crazy amount of water. I do. I drink uh, at least a gallon, if not more, every single day. And sometimes, I'm, you know, it'll be 9 o'clock at night, and I'm finishing up, like, kind of my daily regiment. And so when I was a younger person, there was – I would sleep through the night, not wake up, not get up and go to the bathroom – Unless there was sound. Now, I was a light sleeper. Yeah. But as long as there, I mean, once I was asleep, so I, I was out. I guess because I've been a light sleeper for my whole life, I used to not sleep with the TV on. And then I found that it was easier to block out, like, because, I, like I said, like, when you think think about, like, being a light sleeper, like, you're, you're like, anytime the house settles. Right. Uh, Creek, anything. And, like, uh, I grew up in a house with a ton of people in it. Right. So, like, I started going to bed with the TV on so it would block out those other things. And that now that makes sense. I get it. So that I could like if like if I was focused on like whatever is happening on the TV, then I wouldn't be focused on everything else and I could fall asleep. That makes sense. So now as an adult, I can't break myself of it. We've I totally tried. get that. I and please know I'm not judging in any way, shape, no, or form. But we, I totally me get and it. Jasmine have tried. Like I just can't. Like yeah. we we like Literally, like, if the power's out, I'll put YouTube on my phone. Totally. Okay. That's fair. Because I just can't. I have my So, can't. how does light, does light bother you? No. So, light like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't sleep. Like, well, I spent, like, a year and a half on thirds. That's true. Like, it doesn't, like. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but uh, the one, like, I didn't like a fan. But. Uh, <laughs> but my wife does. Oh, yeah. I remember so. when we'd go to camp and she's like, can I take my fan? <laughs> yeah, my wife wants a fan, so I don't like. So our compromise was that she got the fan, but I got to keep the TV. Ceiling fan, box fan. She's got a uh, one of those oscillating fans that yeah. sits on like we have a humid. We have the fan, and then in front of it's a humidifier, and then okay, it oscillates and right. spins, goes back and forth between us. So you have you have a good amount of noise going on. Yeah, around you. Yeah. Yeah, I make I I told, I think there are things that you get used to, right? Fans, humidifiers, uh, air conditioning. You know, like there's there are certain noises in your house that you get used to. You know, my light sleeping was that like one of the kids got up in the middle of the night, or mm. you know, or I don't know, a vehicle outside that's really loud. You know, we have live in a neighborhood and motorcycles go by, and it's like, yeah, okay, thanks, I appreciate that. Two o'clock in the morning, why are you not at home? But right. Um, but I think that your body does get used to certain things. The light doesn't, I think it's interesting. I know people that will take like tape or black tape and cover, you know, on your TV, you have a little red dot Mm -hmm. and they'll cover that red dot. Yeah. That's, that's too intense. Yeah. I don't have that, but I do like it dark. I will say this. I, so we just got a new, like a couple months ago, we got a new, um, AC and they, when they put it in, they had to move it. Right. Uh, so it moved like it was on like the side of our bedroom, like our like in our bedroom, like our headboards, like right here. Right. And then um, you have because you're in the corner, right? We're in, we're in the corner of the house. Yeah, you have two outside walls. We have two outside walls. So they moved it from one outside wall, the outside wall that was like back towards back uh, away from our bed. They moved it to right behind our bed. So right at the head. Right at the head of the bed. So you have so that. now, mm-hmm. like. Last night I woke up and I was like, "What is that sound?" And it was the, the, the ticking of the AC outside. Yeah, the started getting ready to outside. start up. Yeah, and when I was like, t- t- <laughs> "I was like, what is that?" And, and the I train like, doesn't wake you up. It sometimes does it. Well, what? it doesn't go. They don't like they. I would say they probably maybe 
they don't run the train very late, maybe past 11. Okay. Very often. Like, it's very, very rare that a train goes through Helmsburg at, like, 10 or 11, or past 10 or 11. Yeah, I was trying to think of after I asked you a question, because, you know, we lived at a house that had the railroad, same railroad tracks mm-hmm. behind, and after a season, didn't even hardly notice that they were going by. Yeah. Now, it, you guys do because you hear the horn. Right. Because you're because right you the there. Crossing. You have the crossing. But I, I would say that, like, most of the time after 10 or 11, we don't, ha- we don't, we don't hear the trains. Well, technically, we had a crossing. It just was a little further away from us than you, but not much. I mean, we did hear them blow the horn, but I will tell you, after probably two or two or more years, I slept right through it every night. Yeah, didn't even notice. Didn't even, you know. I'm just saying they don't. I don't think they run them very often after ten o'clock, ten yeah. or eleven. I think they, they the probably don't. Probably the latest I've heard one. They they probably in don't. a while. Yeah. So, so. well, I don't, I don't know what this episode is about. Well, to be honest, we started fantasy football and then ended with sleep patterns and. All the things Tattoo. in between. Well, all that to say, all that to say, this birthday present is a great one, Mom, and it looks really good. His his ink looks really good right now, and I appreciate it. So yeah, there you go. For those that are listening, just visualize. Visualize my arm. Yep, his uh, his uh, lion and uh, is that, what is, what is that flower? A rose. It's a rose. The rose and the lion. Side by side, they they're very solid, they're and the other right thing now. on the other arm is just greasy now. So, yeah, the snake is that what that is? That's yeah, a snake. Oh yeah, with the knife with through, the the head. through the head. Yeah, the dagger through the head. Is that your newest one? Uh, no, this the, the roses. The roses. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Well, another great episode of all that to say. Later. We're out.